So you have a Surface Pro or a laptop and you decided one screen isn't enough? That's all right, Asus has you covered with the Zen screen, a portable 15.6 inch display. Today I'm gonna to review it, tell you what's good and what's not. Stay tuned. All right, before we turn it on, let me go through the specs here. You are talking a 15.6 inch glossy display. It is of course non-touch. It is full HD, so 1080 resolution. Now they do also have a blue screen filter and some anti-flicker technology built in here. All that means is it's supposed to be easy on your eyes. It is still very glossy though, so as opposed to a matte display. It weighs only one and a half pounds, which is pretty light. Although when you add in the smart cover, it does bring it up to a little over two pounds. So not quite that light, but compared to a laptop, it's not bad at all for throwing in your bag. Now, if you're wondering how do you carry a display around with you without scratching it up, that's all right. Asus gives you a smart cover. If this looks familiar, it reminds me very much of an iPad smart cover. So all you do is it just attaches to the display through magnets. And now it is stuck there and then it wraps around and it is now completely protected like a folio pretty clever design. Now this cover of course also works as a stand and there are multiple ways to set it up. They're all very confusing. This is the most frequently used one. So you just set it up like that and it gives you a pretty good solid base for the display. There are other ways of doing it. And to be honest, I don't even remember how to do them, but there you can attach it to different ways in the back. It's like origami. It's a little bit clumsy, but what are you going to do? It's an all in one package. If you're wondering what this hole is, it's because they actually include a pen with a device. It's not a smart pen. It's an actual real pen. It's because you can stick the pen through this hole and use that as a stand without the smart cover. It's a little bit kludgy. I don't think a lot of people are going to use it, but I guess it's just an interesting thing that they did. Now, in case you're wondering, how does this power on? It is a USB type C cable that's included in the box. So this goes to the display. And then one goes to the laptop that of course also handles the signal for the display. Now, if you're wondering why it had a Surface Pro connected to this device, which of course famously does not have type C, that's because check this out. It has a USB type A adapter. So this is included in the box and you just attach it to that. And now it plugs into type A. I kind of almost don't understand how this works, but yes, if you plug it into any type A port, it should work. There is a display driver you do need to download from Asus, and then that will enable it. Not all laptops can handle this. For instance, the GPD Pocket could not handle this display driver. This does work with the HP Elite X3 for Continuum, so that's kind of clever as well. It doesn't work with all smartphones. You do need a special driver for it. That also raises a problem with the Surface Laptop, which runs Windows 10 S. If you connect this up to it, you will get an error and it will not work. That means you need to unlock Windows 10 S to Windows 10 Pro and install the driver that way. So just keep that in mind. All right, so once connected up, you can see you have a power button here with the small LED. You also have two controls over here for bringing up the menu, controlling the brightness. Now, this is not the most bright display I've seen. You're talking around 200 nits, slightly lower. So you won't want to use this outside. It's enough for indoors though, for watching TV and that kind of thing. Adobe accuracy for color on this is not that great. You're talking in the 70% range. So again, not ideal for photo editing, but overall the contrast and everything looks pretty decent to me. There's also an Asus Display Widget app, which you can download, which includes different color modes like standard sRGB scenery and movie. And you can go through and configure those for different contrast, sharpness, and other aspects as well. So let's bring it all in. I really like the Asus Zen screen quite a bit. Now it costs $250, which is not cheap, but it's also not super expensive. If you're a road warrior like me, it's going to be a really useful product. After all, I use three displays when I'm at home. So when I travel, going down to one, no matter how good it is, is a bit of a challenge. Now that it's not the brightest display out there, nor is it the most color accurate, but I happen to really appreciate it for multitasking. And for those who have a Surface Pro or Surface Laptop and you don't have a USB Type-C port, this is going to be your solution. I'm pretty impressed with that. It's really neat. Now, not all is perfect. I love to see Asus build in a Surface-like kickstand for the next iteration instead of using that smart cover all the time. But overall, if you're a road warrior and productivity is your main concern, I think an external display such as this one is a pretty solid option. So there's a quick look at the Asus Zen screen. If you want one, you can hit the Amazon link below or go to Windows Central to read my full review. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.